good morning welcome back to a new vlog it feels weird to be saying that because it has been a long time since i last vlogged this is actually just the first time i've spoken out loud in quite a while to be honest because i have spent the last week in bed i have not been that ill in a long time there is this cold that is going around and it it had a second wind like i thought i got better i got up i went out I regretted it immediately. Every time I get up for more than like 20 minutes, I regret it immediately. It's been an experience, one that you do not need to hear about. But anyway, I'm on my second matcha of the morning. I'm trying to feel like a normal human being again. My sinuses are just horrendous. I feel so puffy, so we are actually gonna try and sort that out in a minute. And luckily today's video will contain a paid for integrated partnership with the current body, which I am so excited about because I cannot tell you I've spent a week in bed literally just dreaming of depuffing my face and just feeling like a nice cute human being a cute human being i can't even say it i, I just want to be a nice cute human being <laughs> i don't even need to be a human being i'll be a human being so i've been for a walk i've washed my hair i am no longer in my dressing gown which i have spent a disgusting amount of time in and this is day one of feeling slightly more human which needs to happen fast because i am going out for lunch today and i really like i can't cancel any more things i can push no more things in my diary that we just there is no more movement i need to be better so that is the theme of today i have no idea what i'm gonna wear i have some new things we can try those on together before i leave but that's for a little bit later first we need to sort my hair because i currently look like a little drowned frog i know you guys say don't say these things about yourself but it's funny like you know you just have to laugh about some things so i'm going to blow dry my hair i think i'm gonna i can't decide whether to put it straight or have a wave in it i'll blow dry it straight first and figure it out later but step one is blow dry the hair and then we are going to give my face the tl see that it needs and deserves first up we are using some heat protectant if there's any left this is the one i use it's from Kerastase. it's rumored that this like lasts until your next wash i do feel like the length of my hair is partly in testament to this heat protectant because this is like the longest my hair has been in maybe like 10 years and I've been using this since I cut my hair into a bob. And then I flip my hair up and blow dry in sections and I use a Tangle Teaser wet brush. <laughs> Feels so good to have freshly washed hair. My voice is going. What I wish could happen right now is for my hearing to come back. If I could just have freshly washed hair and my hearing it back in my left ear, that would be sensational step two in feeling better we are going to depuff my face this is the section of the video that is sponsored by current body thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video i love when they send me things they have the best beauty tools and it's always just so fun discovering new things from them discovering i bear with me i can't speak I can't hear out of this ear, I can't speak properly. If words don't sound right, just read between the lines. You're like, what might she be trying to say? Anyway, they have sent me the Zip Halo to try, which I have seen so many videos on and I've been desperate to try it. If you watch the vlogs for a long time, you might already know that I love a depuffing device. I love depuffing anything. Like I will use my hands, I will use the little the little tools, but I love like the electronic devices. They are the most effective. Like washering and everything and using my hands great for when you're traveling but if i want something that's really effective an electronic device is the one and current body just have the best ones i actually used one in november that you guys might remember because it was it was sensational honestly that was the gateway for me in terms of using electronic depuffing tools and it has changed my life whenever there's like something that i want to look really snatched for i always make sure i use it on my face in the run up and on the day of and the zip halo which they sent me to try is meant to be amazing because it not only has micro currents which is what the electronic devices work off of well, most of them, maybe not all of them, but the ones that I love, they use microcurrents and this also has nanocurrents. And what nanocurrents do is they basically make the effect of the microcurrent last longer. So anything the microcurrent's done, the nanocurrent is gonna like make it like stick. And then apparently you're meant to see your results continue on like even into the next day. And then what you can do is use your device again the next day and then it's meant to prolong the effects and you can like stack and build on the effect so you can just make yourself look more and more and more snatched over time so you best believe i am 
so excited to try this. It's so dinky as well. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. You can probably see how messy this room is in the reflection. So don't zoom in on that. So yeah, the nano current is what makes the Zip Halo so special. So very excited to try this. It's very similar in the way you use it to other devices where you have the gel that you put on your face and then you turn your device on and use that over the top of the gel. You want to make sure you've got a good amount of gel on your face. Be super generous, otherwise you will feel it. If you put loads of gel on, you will not feel a thing and it's amazing. And the other thing that is really special about the Zip Halo is it has an app that comes with it. Like, don't judge me for how messy my home screen is. I always feel very vulnerable showing people my home screen. I feel like people's home screens say a lot about them. But anyway, they have an app. If you type in Zip Beauty, I think I typed into the app store, it comes up. And they have so many different treatment plans. They've got like targeted treatment plans. I think they have six. So they have six routines for targeted treatments. And then they also have seven full facial routines that you can do. And then they have treatment plans, which you can use over time. So they have like a wedding prep plan so it just basically tells you what to do each day over like 14 days to make you look really snatchy for your wedding day so i am absolutely going to be trying that i'm really excited to test this because if i do like it i will absolutely be using it in the run up to my wedding and on the morning and i can just imagine me and my sister-in-law like we're staying together the night before the wedding and i can just imagine me and her just like sat in bed on the morning of the wedding just like micro currenting our faces <laughs> but I think that'll be really cute. So I'm intrigued to see the results from this. So we're gonna give it a go. So the treatment I'm gonna try out is the Lift. You don't have to have this app, by the way, if you don't wanna use it. You can literally just use it without the app. I think it's just really helpful if you want to do specific things with it. So they have like the Lift routine, which I feel like is quite a standard routine for microcurrent devices, but then they also have like ones for like your lips, for jowls, for contouring, for like depuffing. So there's so many different things you can do. I always find like when I want to test something though, I like to do a lifting technique just so I can really like compare each side of my face and see the kind of result that it gives. So yeah, they have a brow lift. They have so many things. So use the app if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to use it. I'm gonna start by applying. This is the electric complex that comes with it. And you want to use a generous amount of this. And I like to apply this as I'm treating each section of the face, just so I know there's like enough product and it's not drying out. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. I've got a little button here. I'm gonna play the video. Ooh, it's synced up. That's so fun. Whoa! Oh my God. Wow. So every time you feel it buzz, you start again. I can really feel the waves. That's wild. It's kind of nice. <laughs> So that beep means go to the other side. So we're gonna quickly apply to the other side of the face. Oh, really interesting. It doesn't feel as strong on this side of my face, which isn't super puffy and blocked up. Before I fully do the other side, I wanted to really quickly show you the difference. I have my cheekbones back on this side. Can you see? I hope you're gonna be able to see. This is the, like the best light I've got in this house. Oh my God, I actually, she's chiseled okay the zip halo very good because i didn't even have to use that for very long that is literally like one round of my face i really like how easy this is to use it's so fast as well i feel like i want to go in for another round and like really get in there okay it needs to do the other side of my face so we match up yes deep off me this is weirdly so satisfying i don't know if it's because i've had a cold and i am like super puffy but i feel this feels really good oh my god she has cheekbones i i can't get over this this is so magical especially since i spent a week looking at myself looking very much worse for wear like even before i did my depuffing routine today has been a marked improvement on how i have looked for the past seven days but i cannot get over this oh my god my sister in law is going to lose her mind for this i can't wait to show her i'm seeing her this weekend and i know she's gonna be like give me the zip halo oh how nice is it to have cheekbones wow never been so grateful so nice. I feel so snatchy and lifted and nice. Oh, this is unreal. Wash the gel off. And I feel like it's just also made my skin look really like plump as well. And it has a really nice glow to it. I don't know what magic this is, but it actually feels magical. I am actually speechless and you guys will know that that really happens because you normally can't shut me up. I have a code. I believe it's Suzy Halo if you want to get 15% off. And I think you can get 15% off the gels as well. So if you need a restock of your gels, you can use my code for that as well. 10 out of 10. Anyway, I really need to get ready now. I need to put makeup on. I need to get an outfit together. I have no idea what I'm going to wear 
where it looks like it's about to like really cloud over and rain so this this british summertime needs to rethink its behavior because i'm not i'm not here for it facetiming rowan and don't i look so chiseled wow looks so glowy even on facetime i normally look like a toe wow we are cutting it slightly fine. I've got about 10 minutes until the car comes to pick me up. But this is my outfit of the day. I've gone for this white top from Kukai. Those of you that grew up in the 90s and the 2000s in the UK may remember Kukai and it may bring back very weird nostalgia for you because it used to be the brand, the Australian brand, that we all somehow collectively decided without the use of the internet that we would get our school bags from. I will try and find a photo of them. Mine was bright fuchsia pink and I used to wear it with a white puffer coat and I thought I was the hottest thing out there. So I have a big love for Kukai and I'm very happy that it's making a return. They make the coolest like minimalisty clothes at the moment. They've I feel like they've had a bit of a rebrand or maybe they were always like that but it's just a thing now that we all really like. I don't know because they haven't been on my radar for a long time but if you remember these school bags please comment and let me know because I just need to I need to make a club for all of the girlies that were into like that kind of aesthetic because I feel like we've all probably turned out the same as adults but anyway I'm also wearing my cos jeans and then I'm gonna wear these heels because I'm actually going for a Jimmy Choo lunch they're doing like they're hosting little lunches for us and like a plus one so it's not a big like press dinner it's like cute little i was gonna take ryan and we were gonna go this evening but he's actually really busy this week and can't make it so i am going to go with my friend rosie instead and we are doing a lunch so i'm gonna wear my jimmy choo heels i've got jimmy choo i want you on obviously for the occasion oh i have new earrings so these are actually a new addition to my aurelia edit we didn't foresee this but so many pieces sold out so we thought we'd just add in one of my favorites that didn't originally make the cut because honestly my original edit i think think was like 30 pieces that I wanted maybe more maybe 40 pieces I actually couldn't whittle it down so obviously we have to whittle down because otherwise it's just the Aurelia website it's not an edit so these have been added in I'm obsessed with them they're a little bit vintagey but a little bit like minimalist at the same time and I just love that I'm also wearing my t-bar bracelet and the blue tennis bracelet which are the best combo together but they also work beautifully alone I didn't wear a necklace because I felt like this neckline was that would be too fussy oh and i'm also wearing the domed ring which is now back in stock yay <laughs> a lot of items have gone to pre-order and honestly i am flawed so thank you so much for all of your support in the edit i know i keep saying it but like i honestly was like okay there's there's not enough stock for everybody wow but anyway i need to go and get my shoes on pack my bag because this cute little bag this is from anthropology by the way it has nothing in it yeah i might need to find some sunnies i feel like the sun is it wants to come out. I don't know if it's gonna make it, you guys. But yeah, let's go. Ooh, I have flowers. Cute. Oh, wow. Oh my God, these are stunning. Wow, how do I get you out? Oh my God. Oh, they are sandwiched in, okay. Ooh. Oh, stunning. A fresh bottle, just in time. Oh, wow. Dear Susie, we hope you're looking forward to your date night with you. Here's a little something to say thank you for your support company with the I want you EDP to complete your look. Oh, so cute. I love this. This is so pretty. Oh my god. Well, okay. Ryan's gonna have to look after these for me. We gotta go. We need to pee as well. Let's run. Okay. Bye. <laughs> A little peach bellini to match the bottles. Jimmy Choo. And look who is over here, also on a date. There is some serious tea going down over there. Well, that's a real oh. tag, tag thank account. you. Oh my god, they look so good. Oh yeah, thank Enjoy. you. Oh my god. Taco. Am I gonna regret not having a margarita with my tacos? Yes. Rosie looks so cute today. Look at her little jump little oh, nips. <laughs> I love it. Love a baby blue. Oh my god. These look so good. Prawns look so good. Prawns have got little chilies on them. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you want more more cheese with your <laughs> Caesar salad? <laughs> I hope you like dairy, Rosie. Such a funny 
chaotic afternoon. It took me about three plus hours to get home. Long car journey, now feeling very, very car sick. We had a really nice lunch at the main, which is such a gorgeous restaurant. It's like tucked away right on the edge of like Mayfair where it meets like Oxford Circus and then like Oxford Street and Regent Street. There's like a little Hanover, is it, is it Hanover Square? It's like tucked away from there and it just like feels like it's in its own little world. It has a really nice outdoor terrace. Me and Rosie were just literally catching up for a good couple of hours. I spent so much time weirdly talking about things that I've been watching on Netflix. You being one of them and I'll get back to this in a second. We then after went to go and get a matcha and we walked to Blank Street where I then met one of the you outside it was so nice and honestly like it's so funny now we'll be like chatting you guys will be like oh i feel like it's it's so funny because obviously we're not we're not really friends but and i'm like we're not friends <laughs> we're not what <laughs> i just feel like i meet so many more of you at the moment than ever literally than ever before even before youtube was at its peak and i just feel like we genuinely are all for i'm like i could copy and paste you into my friendship group and this would be adorable i love that i love it i love it but she was then like oh by the way there's no matcha inside blank street because her and all of her friends were like sat outside so cute what a nice day for them she was like there's there's no matcha by the way and i was like <laughs> love love that you know what i've come here for but also what 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 be the blank street selling if there is no matcha because to me that's all that there is. I know they do coffee, but to me the matcha is what you go there for. The coffee is also very good. Ryan loves their coffee beans, but I was like, what are, what are, what are these people selling if there's no matcha? I'm confused. So then we decided to walk back in the direction that we came because I needed to go home and Rosie wanted to go to anthropology because she wanted to get the the bag. They have them, by the way, in the anthropology in Central. We're walking back and I see there's a Joe in the Juice and I'm like, oh my god, they do good matcha, let's get one from there. We get the matcha, the vanilla oat matcha, which is normally very good. I've had it both in Brighton and out of the country and it is, it's good across the board. We get the matcha, we walk with it. I take a sip after I've said bye to Rosie. It has coffee in it. I don't know what they were doing, but they put coffee in the matcha. I know that is also a thing, but I was like, this is not why and rosie had the same and i was like i just wanted a matcha and now i'm sad so not that i needed it actually it was probably for the best because i got so car sick that i probably would have seen the matcha again no one needed to know that but you know it was probably for the best that i didn't have that matcha due to the car sickness but anyway then as i'm getting into the car i look look at my phone i check my notifications and one of the actresses from you is liking my reels I was like, today is just like chaotic energy. How bizarre. Also on the note of chaotic energy, I have Rosie's lucky skirt from the hen. Some of you might not understand this reference, but this is the skirt that was worn that made the footballers come say hi. So this is the lucky skirt and I have borrowed it as a potential for Taylor Swift. I'm hoping it'll get me something lucky, not, not in terms of men, but like in terms of like golden circle would be wonderful. So we're wearing the lucky skirt and hoping for the best. I did make an order of some other things so i did a mesh key order with some other bits that are hopefully a little bit taylor swift appropriate i don't know if the dress will feel like it's too much very fun though i just feel like you kind of have to go a little bit all out for taylor swift i don't know i've just seen so many people wear sparkly things i was like how could i not like how could i not and this looks so good i can't lie all of the girlies that are wearing like embellished like sequin bodysuits i wish with my whole heart i'd had the time to do that because i would have gone for it instead i'm just panic ordering online and stealing rosie's lucky skirt so i was thinking maybe this with just like a black body and then i have i have a pair of cowboy boots that i've ordered but i also thought as a backup because oh this is shedding like wow my whole lap is covered in like black so i'm going to be really careful with this and i'm going to be hoovering after I've tried this on apparently. But yeah, I got this dress from Meshki. I'm hoping the length is okay. I'll pin it if not, but it might just be a silver skirt kind of thing. Cause I feel like that's more casual. I can just wear it with like a vest top or like a Zara black body. That would be really, really cute. But I also have this from Meshki, which I just ordered cause I loved it. And I will wear this just like out for girls dinners and stuff. I just thought it was adorable. So it's like a halter neck, like lime green sparkly crop top. It's just giving like, fun girls night i love it so if i wanted to go a little bit more cash i could just wear this and like the white jeans that i'm wearing right now that would be really nice we'll try these on in a sec i feel like this is not a taylor swift oh yeah this is not a taylor swift item but i just loved it off shoulder ruched baby blue top yeah i thought that would be nice again with white jeans i also got some boots another pair of cowboy boots 
Yes. I have an addiction. I have a problem. Oh yeah, I also ordered a cute little top and skirt. So I'll show you that. That'll be cute for holiday. Wait, did I order two boots? Oh wow. I think I went too far. I forgot about these. It's giving, it's giving bridal. It's giving cowgirl. I can't decide if that was a bad idea, but they look so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna ignore the fact that I bought the white cowboy boots because I'm in hindsight, I'm like, wow, what a terrible idea. But I bought the all black cowboy boots. I have these in red and I love them. They're very, very comfy. They're very high up for me on my leg. So very, very flattering and they're very like slim fit to the leg. Not necessarily slim fit, like you have to have slim calves but they just they're not like super bulky and clunky and they have good structure here so they don't like bag go baggy and then like slip down and then make this bit look really chunky they've got a good structure it makes them look very flattering they've also got this like higher up on the side bit and then lower down here which makes it's kind of like almost like slimming just a little heel nothing crazy it makes them very comfortable in my opinion the red version i have are so comfy and i love them so i thought these would be cool like maybe with them you know we'll see we'll see let's try some things on i really like this but i think i would prefer to wear this on holiday with like a pair of linen trousers maybe as opposed to jeans or maybe i just need like lower rise jeans i feel like these sit at quite a weird point for a top like this but i do really love the top i will absolutely be keeping it it does need like a cover underneath but that's fine with me this is a very cute option if you are doing eras tour obviously not within the next 15 working days because mesh key does take a little bit of time to arrive but if you're doing eras i don't know whenever the next lot of shows are this would be so cute with a pair of jeans i'm actually so sad that this video is going to go live the sunday after we're actually going to taylor swift because it would be so fun to be able to actually have your guys input on these outfits but we will have just been on friday i'm so excited i can't wait it's going to be one of our best girls nights of the <laughs> if you don't know by the way one of the things for the taylor swift eras tour if you're not like a swifty if you're not into the whole thing people often wear things that are sparkly and a lot of people wear cowboy boots as well and i was like hold my beer i'm gonna do both if i can because i love cowboy boots and i love sparkly things so this is the mesh key dress on i was a bit worried that it was gonna look a bit bulky because of all of the sequins but it's actually not too bad i have pulled the it's got adjustable straps i have literally fastened them almost as far up as they will go because the straps are long and i have rolled it up just a tiny bit on the hem because it just is a little bit long for me and it cuts at a weird point but i really <laughs> think this is quite cute however i do, it is a lot i am aware it is a lot but i love it i think i don't know you only get to go and see taylor swift once well actually i have seen her before in hyde park but it wasn't the same like the eras tour has such a big hype behind it and i just feel like it's such a fun moment especially doing it with like two of my best friends i can't i can't wait so yeah i think this could be cute but another thing for the eras tour is actually the friendship bracelet aspect and i knew neither of the girls were gonna really want to sit down and do this so i took one for the team whilst i was literally lying in bed sick for a week and i made a whole load of cute friendship bracelets and i asked the girls they don't know i've done this so i can't wait to give these to them i think that'll be in the next vlog but i made them friendship bracelets with their own like their favorite taylor swift album on the friendship bracelet you're meant to trade these at concerts which i will absolutely not be doing i worked way too hard on these but i wanted to still join in a little bit you know so this is one for lauren favorite album to speak now and then amelia's is lover so she's got this sweet little pink and yellow one lauren's is pink and mostly pink <laughs> as is standard with her and then vic has like lilacs and yellows and her favorite and a couple of pink as well and her favorite album is 1989 and then mine is where did my one go this is my one i may have gone for a slightly different design with mine and i regretted it i actually prefer to do them really simple i also have a bracelet for my favorite song as well or one of them because who's afraid of little old me does not fit on a bracelet i just love the bridge of this song so don't judge me yeah and then i just made a couple of others for fun because i thought they were cute colors are the bracelets going to go <laughs> with the outfit i hope so oh look <laughs> is there anything my aurelia t-bar bracelet does not go with no oh so sparkly 
<laughs> okay, so this is option number one, like serious option number one. Oh, I really like this. This is the cutest skirt ever. No wonder it's the lucky skirt. I feel like this one looks better in real life than it does in my viewfinder, but it's so fun. Oh, this is such a hard choice now. I definitely feel like this feels more casual than obviously the sparkly black dress but still really fun it still hits the mark for the sequins and the cowboy boots yeah what do we think oh this is so tricky i also don't know if i would wear it with the t-shirt i do like the t-shirt annoyingly i've just got deodorant marks on it as i put it on but i could wear like the zara body that kind of cinches in a little bit and just that feels a bit more dressy maybe than the t-shirt. I'm also going to be tanned when I wear all of this and like glowy and you know, put body oil and stuff on. I'm such a dry prune right now. I do like this a lot. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. And this is when I wish this video was going live like before the evening because I could really use your help. Yeah, no, I think this is cute. I feel very comfortable in this. It doesn't feel like too much. I don't know. The only other thing I could do is wear a different, I could wear different boots. So I could wear my Stuart Wiseman like knee high boots and they're a bit less like chunky than the cowboy boots. So it might be a bit more elongating. Let me show you. So this is the Stuart Wiseman boot. It's so hard with not both of them on actually. So cowboy boot, Stuart Wiseman boot. Stuart Wiseman boots actually look a little bit weird front on. They look so slimming on the side, but front on my leg doesn't really fill them. No, I think the cowboy boot. I think the cowboy boot looks better. I do also have this top I could wear. It's giving like Y2K, but I feel like this is another one that looks way better in real life than it does on camera. I don't know though. I just took some pics on my phone and it looks so, so nice. I'm gonna have to send this to the girls and see what they think. Good morning. Sorry, Ryan called me down for dinner last night and by the time I came back up here, it was so dark and I wouldn't have been able to continue trying things on with you. So we're going to continue now before I go to London. I am aware this is the most chaotic vlog I have done in quite some time and that's really saying something. This is why I don't have weeks off. This is why we don't take sick days. First week back is always chaos. So where was I? This is the blue top from Mesh Key. I really like this. I love anything off shoulder the only annoying thing is this is not attached i might actually put a couple of stitches in it so that it actually does attach because it will bug me maybe slightly less but it's so cute it's such a nice color love okay keeping this it has been so peaceful literally the whole morning and as soon as i start vlogging someone's got the lawnmower out some of you might have seen the top i wore yesterday this was from kukai i actually got another top as well which i didn't get to show you yesterday it's just a very sweet little backless halter neck style top in like a creamy tone i think i'll get a lot of wear out of this a lot of wear so we're gonna try this on love this this is great oh this would be so nice on holidays but equally just like in the uk if you're going out for dinner on a friday night and you just want to wear like jeans and a nice top this this is the nice top and i think this comes in a few colors as well so yeah i may need this in black this is really gorgeous i don't know if i'd wear it with these jeans necessarily it doesn't look bad but i think either with a pair of like floaty trousers or with like a little skirt could look really nice i'm like looking at my wardrobe like hmm, what can i pair this with i actually might have a matching pair of trousers to this cream tone so that could be really nice yeah just with like a pair of jeans i think would be perfect i love the backlessness of it that's really nice i think when you're wearing like a high-waisted pair of jeans as well and it meets like the backless point i think it looks gorgeous very happy with this i believe i got a size 36 i think that's what that is yeah big thumbs up from me i also this is the mental space i was in yesterday i had packages in front of me that i just completely forgot to show you i got this play suit from river island which i've actually had before i think i loaned it out and i don't think i've had it back but this was another one of my options for taylor swift but also beyond taylor swift because it's just such a great piece i wish i could remember who i lent the other one out to but they still make it which is amazing and it's this black play suit and it's like a shorts on the bottom obviously because it's a play suit and then strapless on the top my other one i hadn't had altered to me but i think i will have this one altered to fit just in terms of the length because i remember it being a little bit long before and this is the thing if i alter things to me then no one can steal it because it's too short for everybody else so i got it in a size eight and i think a size six yes so i'm gonna try both on and see which one fits better so that i don't hopefully have to have it altered too much so this is the play suit this is the size six when it's like this i'm 
it's just not really giving much. However, even if I just roll the top up, I think a couple of times. So this is once, and then roll it up again. That's really rough, I haven't done the back, but this is what it looks like when it's just been taken up a little bit and it just hits at a much more flattering point. But I definitely wanna have this done properly because the waistline doesn't sit where it's meant to if you just roll the top up. But yeah, I think a little bit shorter would just be so nice. Really nice with a pair of heels, but also equally nice just with flats. I actually wore this when I was in Crete last summer, just with like a low heel, and it was really nice. It's such a perfect piece to have in your wardrobe. It can really do a number of different occasions. It can do like girls night out, it can do something a bit more like fancy, it can do something more casual. Everyone should have this in their wardrobe. It's an amazing basic. And it also has pockets, which is amazing, yeah. I love it. So yeah, I went for the size six. It has quite a good like give. You have to put it, pull it on from the bottom up and it has a good amount of give. So I would say you definitely don't have to size up if you're in between sizes. And then to come back to my Urban Outfitters order, I also got this really cute set, which is more of a like summer holiday set, I think, but still very sweet. So I got this white little top, which actually I could get a lot of wear out of. I could just wear this with jeans when I I'm home in this terrible weather. And then it also comes with like a matching skirt, which might give some of the girlies that grew up in like the 90s and the 2000s PTSD, but I think it's really cute. And actually this would look nice just with like a t-shirt. You don't have to wear it with the matching top, but I think the matching top and skirt would just be super nice on holiday. Just very relaxed, very chill. This is the white top from Urban Outfitters. Love this, just really nice and girly and I think it works really nicely with jeans because I always feel, my jeans aren't very girly. I like to wear baggy jeans and I think a nice little feminine top like this is just a perfect contrast, but that doesn't contrast too much, if that makes sense. This is so nice, I really love this kind of cut as well. Ever since trying on wedding dresses, I have become obsessed with like more of a sweetheart cut. I always used to go for straight cuts and I've actually realized like this cut is way more appropriate for me. And I don't know, I always just feel really lovely and like really confident in any kind of like more sweet, this isn't fully sweetheart, this is more of a V, but any cut that's more less straight across, like the straight across just makes me look really bony and I don't I don't love it but I actually love more of a cut like this it's very nice guys this skirt is actually also shorts and screen <laughs> that is so good I feel so secure in this and it allows it to like be a little bit shorter but not be inappropriate I loved oh my god I'm obsessed I really like it. it also kind of looks a bit more like a dress like this I also love the length of this it is not normal for the length to actually be good on me I, I can wear it more high-waisted because my body is so short and my legs are so short but if you are taller this will just be worn like more low rise if that makes sense i love it this is gonna be such a nice one for holiday it's all white so i can take it away on like my honey my mini moon because i haven't booked my honeymoon yet but my mini moon i can wear this yep love very happy with this okay ready to go to london so the dress code for today for today's event is the charlotte tilbury event it's in their offices and they put the dress code as office siren number one i've been a corporate girly i've been there i've done that i don't need to go back to it two shirts get really creased on the train so i've actually just thrown a shirt in my bag for the photos but i'm wearing full adenola i need to put my trainers on but i'm just wearing my strapless adenola top with a little pair of shorts and they just kind of look like a one piece together and then i've got this black trench which is from mango and then i'm just going to throw my walking trainers on so that i can walk to all of my meetings it's like my favorite thing to do in london it makes the being in london so much more bearable for me i hate getting on the tube i hate being stuck in traffic and actually in central you can just walk everywhere so i've just taken to doing this and yes i don't turn up in heels looking like super slick but i'm always on time and i'm happy because endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. Anyway, in terms of jewellery, I am wearing my morning, morning, my Aurelia ring. I then have my Aurelia T-bar necklace, which I've also put the newly launched, launched Lux charms onto, and I am obsessed with them. Some of you may have seen this when I was in Saint-Tropez, but I don't think they'd launched yet. But I love them. They're so cute. And then I've got the twisted earrings in as well which are really like they make such a nice noise when you touch them it's very satisfying yeah that is this morning's outfit oh and i have a, a different ring a heart ring on this hand just going very like fun with the jewelry because the outfit's kind of a bit boring and then i have my ysl tote i might take a hat as well like a baseball cap i don't know i think it could look cute this is the baseball cap with the fit 
I really like it. I think I'm going to wear this because I'm having my base redone anyway because Charlotte Tilbury are launching a new product which I have actually known about since November. It's actually part of my wedding makeup look so we've been trialing it for a while on my skin and I am obsessed with it. Every time I get to go in and have a makeup trial I get so excited just knowing that I get to have this product used on my skin so I really hope today I'm actually going to be able to tell you about it because it's stunning stunning like nothing else that they have and i'm so excited walking to meet rosie hopefully today will be the day i get my white chocolate matcha brush your fingers for me blank street's about to decide whether i'm gonna have a good day or not Yay. Oh, yeah cheers mm -hmm. sneak peek of the offices this is the room where we're getting our makeup done in. It's so fun, it's so exciting, can't wait. Got snacks over here. Look, look at that croissant. Looks stunning. Percy pigs, oh yum. Makeup over here. This is the new Unreal skin. Oh my god, these look so gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, I love a dark brown. And what shade in the Unreal skin? I did a six, but I think I did a six or a seven. So glowy. Honestly, it's like airbrushing, but yeah, exactly. like natural yeah, airbrushing. Yeah, 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 for sure. I, love it. I might do a, I might do a slight deep bronzer just on the forehead. Just oh yeah, go for it. A bit of sun, cause you know we're in the go summer now. It. It's a bit warm. Kind of. It's trying to be warm. It's trying today. to be warm. Yeah. I am so excited about these. What are these called? Lip and cheek glows. Lip and cheek glows. This looks insane. What shade is this? Paradise Paradise. That's what I put on. Oh, it looks really like good on you. Like a, a so nice. Jennifer. Yeah, like it's giving Sabrina Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. love the blush. Oh, it's so good. This is my perfect pink shade. I've been it looking is. for the perfect summer pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. With that like true blue. It goes with the lip as well. Because it looks stunning. Yeah. This is Charlotte's old office. This is insane. Oh my god, imagine this being your office. Wow. So Charlotte used to spend so much time in her office that she actually had a hair washing sink. This is crazy. It goes all the way up and round. Mad. I love the ones with the glasses on. How do we pick? Do I have to pick a favourite no, for the... Okay, great. Oh, these are so good! <laughs> I love these photos. Yeah, they look yeah, really yeah good. that first one. I feel like that first one was my favourite one. We could have just... I know, it's nailed it. We could have just stopped. Well, we'll send you all of them. Oh my god, guys, look. I officially work at Charlotte Tilbury now, have a lanyard. That was so fun. Got my little lanyard. I, <laughs> I don't even want to take it off, it's so cute. I'm just walking along by the river i go back to the station and go home i actually need to take this off now because this is slightly ridiculous it's such a good event it was really nice to meet the charlotte tilbury makeup artists like they're just all so nice just picked up amelia's birthday card i thought this one was very fitting there got you a present Ooh. this is for real guys he just happened to be standing here when i walked in i know what cross town is it's a whole box <laughs> Guess we didn't get any lunch. Mm? <laughs> I didn't get any lunch. Oh. They're all vegan. I've got a lot of donuts to eat in about six hours. Yeah. Perfect. Mm, mm. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Are they good? Mm. <laughs> good morning. Let's do puff together. So today is my Taylor Swift beauty day. So I'm going to be doing my nails. I'm going to be doing something fun on my nails. I'm gonna tan, I'm gonna wash my hair, I've got a nice girly weekend planned. Oh, it's just gonna be the best. I'm really excited for it. So yeah, I wanna do all of my beauty prep so I don't have to like bother doing a hair wash over the weekend or whatever. I'm also kicking today off with a walk with Lauren, so not too much going on here. I thought I would actually leave you with footage from last weekend, which I forgot to share with you, which was me and Ryan going to shop for our wedding bands. I'm doing a very unconventional wedding band. Like some of you are gonna hate it. My mum, I think genuinely does hate it. She was trying to convince me to get something else. I need a bespoke band made for my engagement ring and the bespoke band would mean that I just can't wear it like on its own. Like when I take my engagement ring off, there would be a gap and then I can't wear my wedding ring on its own. There are some things you can do, but they just, when the engagement ring is not on, they look really ugly and I don't really wanna do that. So I'm essentially getting a hybrid 
made of a wedding band slash it's almost like a new engagement ring I guess but for like other like Christmases anniversaries everything Brian said he will make a bespoke band for the original engagement ring so I can wear both but the new band's also going to be just like clear in its stone color and that's because I am genuinely struggling with styling my engagement ring I find a blue stone actually really difficult and also oh this is really tingly this morning I must be super puffy when I do my nails like I find that it just my, I have to have a very plain nail all the time to have the current engagement ring that I have and it's just not working out as well for my lifestyle. It's not very practical, it's really heavy, the band's really thin. I've talked about this so much in other vlogs so sorry if you've already heard this. Yeah it spins around a lot because the weight isn't quite right and it just also catches on things when it's winter so this I think the new ring will definitely get worn more in the winter and the current engagement ring more in the summer. It definitely fits me slightly better in the summer as well but I know when we have kids my finger size is going to change so it might be that that becomes like the go-to ring when we have kids i'm not sure we'll find out so i'm going to leave you with the footage from when we went ring shopping and you can see if you can have a guess as to which one i went for other than the footage of us wedding band shopping i think that is going to be it for this vlog me and my puffy face are going to be over and out i am so much less puffy on this side that is so good i have found i haven't been super puffy this week and i don't know if it's down to this and the long lasting effect but i do feel like i don't wake up looking crazy puffy every morning at the moment which is very nice so i'll leave my code in the info box if you ever need it will be there so much better anyway i'll leave you with the footage that's going to be it for me today i am so sorry for the brain fog that has plagued me during this video i'm hoping maddie manages to edit it well so that i don't look as brain dead as i genuinely have been but for some reason that cold that i had even though it was just a cold it really has knocked me and I have like the worst brain fog ever. It's actually bizarre. But yeah, I'm having a very early night tonight and I will hopefully be back up and running at full speed for the next vlog. I really hope you enjoy the next vlog. I am so excited. I can't believe we're going to the Eras tour. It's, it's gonna be the most fun. I'm going with the girls. It's good. I'm just, I honestly cannot wait. So I really hope you guys are looking forward to that vlog. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. Good morning. We are back wedding ring shopping for a second week in a row. Are we gonna pick them today? Realistically, probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna to aim to pick mine today. Yeah. I feel like I was confident last week and I've been looking back at the photos I took and I still feel very confident in the varying options. So watch this space. I may be picking my wedding ring today. And we're also going for lunch at Mowgli's. I keep wanting to say Dishoom, but it's not Dishoom, it's Mowgli's. The beard is back. Some of you will be happy about this. Some of you will be very sad. Lots of people were really in favour of the no beard. It's not as long as it has been. No, it's shorter. I like it. I like this. I think it looks nice. I think, I think it might stay this sort of length. Yeah. Obviously. Especially because you've got so much hair on the top of your head now. It's like nice to I think have I need a to bit. look back once it's grown back look back at what it looks like no bid yeah yeah do you know what i mean like you can't really tell until you yeah keep a photo so, diary of the beard yeah, that's a good shot actually <laughs> Brian's just told me to go and try this on for a joke. This is enormous. Look at the size of it. What band would you wear with that? You're not pairing that with anything. Yeah, like what is paired with... I actually looked up by Google because Princess Diana had a ring like this and for inspo with mine, I was like, what did she wear with it? Nothing. The answer is nothing. It's giving bougie as hell. Just in case anyone needed it confirming, my wedding band will not be 28 grand. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> Agree. I was like, yes, it can really confirm. yeah can confirm. <laughs> I enjoyed that way too much. I literally just sat there. I was like, someone needs to give me a time limit because I will just sit here and try on the same five rings over and over again. I got it down to two, my final two, and I was like, I will just sit here. Someone tell me to leave. Like, someone be like, Susie, go home. It's time to leave now. I think I found, I found my wedding ring. And now I just have to go home. I was, <laughs> I was like, can everyone here please confirm that the sensible thing to do is to go home and think about this and, you know, consider it like a normal person and not just buy it on the spot. And <laughs> Ryan and the, lo the lovely Esther in there were like, yes. Yes, please go home. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to sleep on it and then I was like, my daughter. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. It's perfect. Like even I I put it on and Ryan was like, 
yes. It's meant to be. And you are maybe a fraction more decided. Yeah, a little bit. But I feel like I've only recently even considered like a signet, so yeah. that's still quite new to me. Yeah, Brian so. wants a signet. It's hard for guys as well. They don't wear rings normally, so it's like, what, what do you do? Oh my God. Really Stunning. Wow. This is like our favourite is affogato. We love an affogato so much. This is so good. <sighs> okay. yeah. it's 